my friend wrote this video instead of me, so shout out to them. Also, in the video, I tripled the recipe in the video footage, so the numbers I am telling you are accurate, but the video will be disproportionate to what I actually have said. Howdy doody, folks. Today, I will be making the classic banana bread. You have to say banana bread or else it's gonna taste bad. Now, I am obligated by law and cancel culture to tell you that this recipe is not mine. I am using the complete cookbook for young chefs from America's Test Kitchen, which is the exact same book I used last video, which you would have noticed if you were paying attention. The first thing you want to do before you start making the actual bread is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want a more smoky flavor, you could put it in a campfire, but I'm low on firewood, so the oven will have to do. Side note, if you do choose to use the oven, like a loser, you have to adjust the rack to the middle position. Preferably, you do this when the oven is preheated with bare hands. I hate this part. Just to feel a little piece of the pain you're putting the loaf through. It's fine if you don't, but we need to have some sympathy here, guys. You're also going to need to grease a 8.5 inch pan by 4 and 1 half inch loaf pan. You can just spray it with vegetable oil or use butter, but be sure to cover the bottom and sides. For the actual recipe, start by combining 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 3 fourths teaspoons of baking soda, and 1 half teaspoon of salt together in a medium bowl. Whisk them until you think they're fully combined, but you don't know because they're all a very similar color and texture. Now, you're going to have to peel three very ripe bananas and place them in a large bowl. This is a good way to use up the rotting bananas that sit on your counter for weeks, waiting for you to eat them and put them out of your, their misery. Yet, you walk past them and ignore their cries for help. To further traumatize these bananas, mash them up with a fork or a potato masher until they are broken down, but still chunky. When finished with this step, they should resemble me after eating four loaves of this bread. Next step is telling me to add 3 fourths cup of sugar, 2 big and beefy eggs, 6 tablespoons of melted butter, 1 fourth cup of plain yogurt, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract to the bowl containing the chunky bananas. However, the sugar is simply unnecessary for me because I am, you guessed it, so sweet. And I know what you're thinking, Gavin, I'll never be as sweet as you, but I don't want to use the sugar. And you're right, you'll never be as sweet as me, so suck it up and measure out your three-fourths cups. Once all of the ingredients have been put into the bowl, whisk them together until evenly combined. Take your flour mixture and add it to the banana mixture, carefully stirring with a rubber spatula. Make sure that no dry flour is visible, but do not over mix. The batter should be thick and chunky, like me. When the batter is mixed, gently pour it into your greased loaf pan and scrape the excess out of the bowl with the rubber spatula. Now pop that bad boy in the oven, or fire if you're going for the smoky flavor, and set a timer for around 55 minutes or until the loaf is golden brown. To make sure that the bread is done baking, stick a toothpick in the center and if it comes out clean, it's done. If it's not, toss it back in the oven for a few more minutes. MANDATORY STEP While the banana bread is baking, you have to play Mario Kart. If you don't, it's just not gonna taste good. Now, some of you may not be able to play Mario Kart, which, I don't know, it's horrible life in my opinion. But in this case, you can just watch some of my other videos to pass the time. It won't make it taste as good as Mario Kart, but it's better than nothing. When you are done with your Mario Kart session, you can go upstairs and see if the loaf has become golden brown and the toothpick comes out clean. If it does, take it out of the oven slash fire pit and let your lovely creation rest for 15 minutes because it's tired from all the work it did in the oven. When your 15 minutes is up, ever so carefully remove the bread from the pan and onto a cooling rack. Let it rest for a full hour before serving, or at least what it says to do, but the rest of us just eat it directly afterwards. Enjoy your fun, funky, fresh banana bread.
don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, adios.